well guys today we are going to find out missing values in an ANOVA table okay this is the ANOVA table given and we have to find out the missing values so what are the missing values in this table question mark 1 question mark 2 question mark 3 and up to question mark 10 so these are the missing values and we have to find it out okay what is the question four types of fertilizers were applied to seven types of seeds and the ANOVA table constructed is given below so the first question is find the missing values and the second part is use alpha is equal to five percent to test whether production across fertilizers equals or not and the second part is production across seeds equals or not so this is the second part okay since we know that number of fertilizer is equal to 4 and number of seed is equal to 7 so clearly number of fertilizer between fertilizer degree of freedom this is equal to this is equal to 4 minus 1 if you, 4 minus 1 is equal to this is equal to 3 right and between seeds since total number of seed is equal to 7 so question mark 2 this is equal to 7 minus 1 this is equal to 6 all right now we have to find out error the degree of freedom for error this is this multiplication of these two so 3 times 6 this is equal to is equal to 18 right now we have to find out the value of 4 so this is nothing else question mark 4 is the sum of all these three which is equal to 27 so we are done with all these four basic values all right now we have to find out question mark 6 and question mark 7 okay since we know that if we want to find out question mark 6 we know that question mark 6 if we divide it by its own degree of freedom that is 6 we get 5 so how can we find out question mark 6 it means that if we multiply 6 on both sides we get question mark 6 is equal to 5 times 6 which is equal to 30 so clearly question mark 6 this is equal to 30 so we have find found it out this is 30 okay next we have to find out question mark 7 you know that the sum of all these degrees of freedom sorry sum of square is equal to total sum of square so we if we add 26.4 30 and 77.9 we get question mark 7 and if we calculate it the sum is equal to 134.3 this 134.3 now we have to find out question mark 5 as we know that if we divide 26.4 divided by 3 we get question mark 5 and clearly this is equal to 8.8 .8. so this is equal to 8.8 8 now we have to find out question mark 8 if we want to compute question mark 8 we know that if we divide this error sum of square by its own degree of freedom we get the value of question mark 8 and this is equal to 4.3 now we have to find out question mark 9 and question mark 10 if we divide 8.8 .8 by 4.3 you get question mark 9 and this is equal to 2.93 and similarly this and if you divide 5 by 4.3 you get the value equal to 1.16 so this is how to find out the uh, missing values in an ANOVA table okay next part is we have to test whether production across fertilizer equals or not so for this very purpose we have to go for the critical region and for critical region we need f table for five percent level of significance so this is the f table for the five percent level of significance and we have to take the critical region critical region for the equality 
our production across fertilizer is number first if 0.05 with 3 and 18 degree of freedom 3 and 18 degree of freedom and why 3 this is so because these are the fertilizer and this is the degree of freedom for fertilizer right so you have to, to take 3 and 80 degree of freedom 3 is new one you have to find out 3 were from the row and 18 from the column this is new 2 and the value of 3 and 1 this is equal to 3.1 the critical value is 3.16 so this value is equal to 3.16 if you draw the diagram this is the critical region this is 3.16 this is the shape of app distribution and you know the calculated value is equal to 2.93 this is 2.93 2.93 falls in acceptance region because this is the level of confidence and this is the level of alpha the critical region so you should accept the null hypothesis and conclude that yes the average productivity across fertilizers is equal the average productivity across fertilizer is equal now turn to the second one we have to test whether the average productivity across seeds is equal or not so for this we have to find the critical region for the second option that is for the seeds and it will be f alpha alpha is equal to five percent with six and eighteen degree of freedom this time why six and eighteen this is so because you know the number of seeds is equal to 7 and the degree of freedom for seed is equal to 6 and this is the degree of freedom for the error so 6 and 18 degree of freedom should be taken and if you take 6 from the row for new one and 18 from the column so this value is 2.66 so clearly this value is equal to 2.66 this is the critical value and if you draw the diagram zero plus side this is the shape of the app distribution and the critical region is 2.66 and what about the computed value if calculated value if calculated value is equal to 1.16 for seeds 1.16 so it also falls in acceptance region because 1.16 falls between 0 and 2.66 so clearly this is acceptance region the region of 1 minus alpha and this is the critical region so again we accept H naught and conclude that yes the average productivity across seeds is equal so thank you thanks for watching